high volume of traffic, situations that are difficult to anticipate, densely packed urban roads. Often it's only fractions of a second that decide if a traffic accident happens or not. Electronic support systems are a welcome help. The driver assistance systems by Audi. They continually observe the traffic around you and help you reach your destination safely. Munich, a big city with lots of traffic. And of course, the risk of accidents is high. And did you know 90% of accidents are caused by human failure? Of course, driver's assistance systems can help in this case, and especially in the city. Today, I will show you what has become normal for Audi, how assistance systems work, and I will give you a peek into the future of piloted driving. And me, I'm driving this beautiful A4, fitted with many assistance systems. Parking sensors and rear cross traffic assist. Finding yourself in a difficult situation when leaving a parking space? This is no longer a problem with approaching traffic recognized for you. Two radar sensors at the rear of the vehicle monitor over a distance of 70 meters. The warnings are given visually to begin with, then acoustically and if needed with a short warning jolt. The support systems also help with parking. Parking assist system doesn't only recognize the parking space, both parallel and end-on to the car, but also takes over. Data is delivered by six ultrasound sensors at the front and rear. The driver retains control over the brakes and accelerator. When getting out of the car, Audi's exit warning intervenes if needed. Rear radar sensors monitor all approaching traffic. All car occupants receive a warning that a vehicle is approaching from behind. Buildings and road users can obscure a driver's view of an intersection. This is particularly true if you want to make a left turn. The turn assist system monitors oncoming traffic as you move at a speed range between 2 and 10 kilometers per hour. If it senses a dangerous situation, it will bring the car to a full stop and the system will be activated by the driver who puts the left turn signal. Let's get out of the city and on to the accelerator. We are close to the Munich airport today and there's a special opportunity waiting for me because I'm allowed to take part in the Audi V-Trek event simulating the Audi Presense City. Roman Schindelmeister is head of product training. So nice to be here and you can read it nearly everywhere. Audi Virtual Experience. What exactly is that? That means the Audi Virtual Training Car. And with this car we can experience new assistance systems in a mixture between virtuality and reality. Sounds so exciting. Can we start right of now? Of course. Let's go. Yeah. open space, two specially prepared cars and a virtual reality headset. Welcome to a simulation of the Audi Presense City. The driver starts a virtual journey in dense inner city traffic but drives in the real world. The Audi Presense City system is active up to speeds of 80 km per hour. The front camera is equipped as standard and detects obstacles up to 100 meters away. We use um, the front camera, it's called a 3D mono camera. This camera detects the environment. In this virtual example, a pedestrian and a pram are recognized as an obstacle. The Audi reacts immediately with a warning, a warning jolt, and, if necessary, an emergency braking maneuver. At speeds up to 40 km per hour, these kinds of accidents can be completely averted. As you can see, Audi can do a lot to lower the risks of accidents in cities. But there are, of course, a lot of other assistance systems that can help drivers everywhere. And we'll take a look at those in the next episode, and then we'll be driving on the motorway.